In recent days, far-left activists have chanted, death to America and death to Israel. In Chicago, cheers broke out over the weekend when Iran started attacking Israel during a meeting about the upcoming DNC convention. Just think about that for a moment. This isn't your grandfather's Democratic Party. In the three months following the October 7th attack, there has been an increase of 360% of anti-Semitic incidents in this country. It was reported earlier this year that there was an exodus of Jewish families leaving Oakland, uh, Oakland California because of the anti-Semitic radicalization of the teachers union in that city. This isn't 1930s Nazi Germany. This is 21st century California where we're seeing this happen. But if you doubt me, just listen to the leaders of the Democratic Party. Here's Representative Rashida Tlaib, who said, and I quote, from the river to the sea is an aspirational call for freedom, human rights, and peaceful coexistence, not death, destruction, or hate, end quote. This is an absolute lie. From the river to the sea is a call for genocide of the, of the Jewish people and the destruction of the state of Israel. And there's Representative Tlaib condoning a call for genocide. And let's not forget about Representative Ilhan Omar, who said, and I quote, we have seen unthinkable atrocities committed by the U.S., Hamas, Israel, Afghanistan, and the Taliban, end quote. Equating the United States, the U.S. military, and the Israeli Defense Force to terrorist organizations, it's not only disgusting, it's absolutely disgraceful. She also said Israel had, and I quote, hypnotized the world, alluding to an anti-Semitic tro uh, trope that we've seen for abs absolutely centuries. Now here's Representative Jayapal as well, who said, and I quote, well, we condemn Hamas's firing of those rockets, but I think you have to look at what prompted even that behavior, end quote. It's very clear. Far-left activists look to their leaders for direction. The Democratic thought leaders in that party sympathize with terrorists.